Good morning. We're here in beautiful Austin, Texas. It's Texas in July, but it's still morning, so we've got a bit of a cooling breeze coming in uh, before the the uh, hundred degree heat hits. I'm and sitting it will. with and it will. And I'm sitting with Bill Thompson. Bill is the owner and founder of ATX Woodcrafts. Um, Bill, uh, first of all, thanks for having us here. We're excited to uh, have our very first uh, iconic TV presentation. Well, thanks and for we're, including me. We're excited that you are a part of that. Bill spent 35 years as an officer in the uh, Austin Police Department and uh, retired about four years ago. That's right. Tell us a little bit about the 35-year uh, career at, uh, at Austin PD and what ends up making you become a woodworker. Well, I, uh, like I said, 35 years at APD, uh, spent time 11 years on motors, and I uh, spent 16 years in narcotics. When I, when I retired, I was came out of narcotics. Mm -hmm. and. and uh, I just felt like just retiring is a great thing, but you get bored pretty quick when you have nothing to do. So I was trying to pick up a hobby, picked up woodworking, mm -hmm. and uh, absolutely loved it. My grandfather worked in wood, and I guess it must be in the genes, because once I started, I was hooked. And uh, grown from working underneath a shade tree, now I'm in my garage, and in a few months I'll have a new wood shop built in the backyard. Your wife there. will be happy to be able to put the car back She'll in She'll be glad to get her car back. <laughs> in the garage. So Bill, um, tell me a little bit about the types of projects that you do, um, the, uh, the sort of what's your passion, um, maybe a little bit about your inspiration. I would say my passion is ingrain. Uh, I make ingrain cutting boards and uh, now I've graduated into countertops uh, and I'll make Lazy Susans and uh, platters and uh, sign boards, I don't know what the proper word is, but I'll make a board and I'll carve in a saying or an expression and uh, those are actually pretty popular. Now you mentioned you had an inspiration that kind of got you started on the... Yeah, the I picked up thing. the ingrain woodworking from watching uh, YouTube videos on a fella named Andre in Russia. He has a uh, company called MTM Wood and He's really good at it, and I picked up quite a few tricks watching his videos and watching him and trying some three-dimensional stuff, which worked out really well. And uh, then he started using CNC, and when he started using it and saw what he was doing, then I said, "Well, I got to do that too." So, so uh, a couple of things, uh, just a couple of website um, uh, addresses for those that are going to be watching this. If you want to take a look at some of uh, Bill's work, it's ATX. ATXwoodcrafts.com. That's correct? correct. And for the gentleman, Andre, who was your inspiration, his website address is? MTMwood.com. So it's ATXwoodcrafts.com and MTMwood.com if you want to see a little bit about the type of work that Bill does and what inspired him to get started doing it. So we're going to spend a little bit of time in your shop. Um, we're going to take a look at some of the examples of some of the projects that you've done. Uh, one of the things we're going to look at today is some of the techniques that you've used on the design side. Um, a little bit of, uh, I, I, we, we did a little walk through your shop earlier today and uh, you showed me a couple of little tricks that you use in terms of um, being able to do the inlay work and, and some of the tools that you've mm -hmm. created which I think are pretty unique and, and I, I love to talk a little bit about those. So we're going to look a little bit about the manufacturing side of this as well and uh, again we're in beautiful Austin, Texas. We're excited to be here and we're looking forward to see uh, what uh, Bill is going to show us today. So uh, we just finished uh, cutting this project, and Bill, I want to talk about a couple of things when you did this. Um, we get a lot of questions about hold down strategies. Um, customers always trying to figure out what's the best way to hold a part down. Tell us how you did this. I, whenever, I always use double-sided duct tape, mm -hmm. which you can pick up at Lowe's or yeah. Home Depot. Which actually I 
grab the, the right off this table over there. So this is just, uh, forget about the brand name, but this is actually from Lowe's uh, and it's a double-sided duct tape. We, I've used just two-sided carpet tape, works as well, but this apparently is a lot less expensive. But It's also, it appears to be thinner yeah, which than, is nice. than the carpet tape yeah. I, I saw in your video. And you said about eight bucks a roll, right? I think that's about yeah. right, about eight dollars a roll. And I also put two screws in it as well. Right. But as it cuts, it separates from the parts that are screwed down, so the tape is a, is a must. Yeah, yeah. It, it, has, has, to, it has to be there. And that's important to remember when you're working on a project like this, uh, where the pieces are completely cut through, because as you can see, we've cut all the way through here. In fact, I'll just pull this piece off. Uh, you can see we've cut all the way through. Um, once that piece separates, it's going to move if you don't have some two-sided tape. And as you can see, uh, Bill's got to work real hard to get that piece off, which is exactly what you want. You want to the have that uh, piece so that it's really solid on there so that you don't have any mo movement at all. And especially when you're cutting pieces this thick, you certainly don't want to have any movement. I got a couple questions for you. Um, one of the things that we teach customers um, when they're first learning to use their CNC machine is what you are familiar with. We call it bitmap to vector conversion. So if I was just learning to do this, um, the, this uh, British flag project, I would probably go to the internet, find a really good bitmap image of the Union Jack, import it, do a bitmap to vector conversion. You didn't do that, correct? Correct. I, I want you to explain to us why that was. The bitmap conversion is not always accurate when you have to have exact angles for this particular project. Good, good. Using uh, the software, I made a rectangle, and I don't remember the dimensions, but they were exact dimensions for mm -hmm. the size of the rectangle. Yep. And then the distance between these different colored stripes of wood, mm -hmm. which is Purple Heart, Maple, and Padauk, this is uh, 14 millimeters, this is 21 millimeters, and they in order to get that all exactly right, you need to program it. You, uh, you can't necessarily get it exactly right from conversion Perfect. from a bitmap. Perfect. And it's my understanding that when Brits look at their flag, they want this all exactly right. And the reason I want to bring that up, for those of you who are learning to use your machines, uh, bitmap to vector conversion is a very powerful tool, but when you are trying to cut something very specific, you've got to start using the geometry tools to really get exact angles and exact uh, geometry the way that you want it. Tell me about how you did the finish on this. It's a really in, unique In order to keep use. the black paint from being absorbed into the grain of the wood, not in the letters, I pre-finished it with a lacquer, uh, and that prevents the wood from absorbing the black paint. So when I sand it down, it comes right off. It doesn't get stuck in the, wood, in the grain of the wood. Okay. Well, Bill, thank you so much for uh, having us here today. We've had a great time uh, enjoying uh, your property here. It's a gorgeous place. We're looking forward to Bill's building a new shop out in the back. We can't yeah. wait till that gets done and we'll have here. a chance to maybe come back for another visit and, maybe so. and uh, in, enjoy another beer out on the patio. Yeah. Um, and uh, for those of you who are interested in doing inlay work, we hope that this is a really helpful uh, video to help you uh, kind of get your head around some of the tips and techniques from a guy who uh, does a lot of that type of work. Again, visit his website. It is ATX Woodcrafts with an S dot com. And see what Bill's doing. You can also find him on Facebook. Uh, it's also ATX Woodcrafts uh, on Facebook. So um, again, thanks Bill for having us. Thank you. And, thanks for coming uh, all the way down from Canada. Uh, good luck to ATX Woodworks. And one of these days we're looking forward to having a nice cutting board with the iconic logo in it. That could be done very quickly.